Max, the celebration the other night when you guys uh, take that first round almost looked, it was happy to be sure, but almost looked like you guys had it in your mind that there is a greater purpose, longer road ahead. Yeah, I think uh, obviously, you know, winning the series is a good thing. Uh, we put a lot into it, uh, but I think there's a goal at the end of the road that we want to achieve, and I think everyone knows that the job's not finished yet, so uh, that's what we're striving for. You look at this room and just how well it has got along in the last three weeks, and I look through practice and just how intense practice has been over the last three weeks. So what do you contribute to guys leaning in so much in, in not only the practice, games as well, but... Yeah, I think it starts from our veteran guys who have been through it before who tell us, you know, you just every practice, every puck, every game uh, means something, so you want to practice like you play. And I think uh, at this time of the year, everything matters. You know, every little play matters. So we start in practice. Everything's hard, and uh, it translates to a game. What do you take away from that playoff series yourself, just that the whole experience of it and, you know, how much more hockey there is to play? Yeah, I think it's uh, it's exciting to start. I mean, uh, the way our team's playing right now, the way guys are competing, the way guys are battling, everyone has that uh, that look in their eyes right now, and I think it's awesome to see. Um, I think for us, it's just continuing to focus on the goal at the end of the road and every shift hard. No, nothing kind of said that more to me than, than Kyle Clifford at the end of that game gets the empty net goal. I mean, it doesn't seem 100% necessary, but it absolutely suddenly seemed necessary. Yeah, 100%. I mean, it's uh, he's setting the example. I mean, even in game one, just finishing his shift, finishing his check, finishing it, you know, uh, everything he does is hard. And I think it sets an example for the rest of us that someone who's been through it, someone who has two Stanley Cups, someone who knows what he's doing, is uh, someone for us to look up to. And uh, that's just the example he sets right there. Jordy, what do you guys take out of that first round? What do you learn about yourselves as a team? Uh, we definitely realized uh, what works and what doesn't. Uh, you know, we... Uh, Game one, it was uh, one of those things that everyone was clicking. Game two, nothing. So, you know, and then three and four, you realize what uh, what works and what doesn't. So um, it was good that uh, we got her done. We know what we, uh, we need to do to, for uh, this next series. I found the reaction interesting more than anything else. Almost looked like a veteran team out there, even though there's a lot of guys that have never been through this before. It almost seemed like they knew there was a road ahead here. Yeah, I mean, it's the, the confidence in the dressing room does, um, with how young these kids, these guys are, it, it doesn't really matter. They, uh, they look like they've been around for a while, and it, uh, it just shows that uh, it doesn't matter where we are in the series or what the score is, you know, these guys are confident that we can get it done. Last three weeks, you guys have had some crisp and high-paced practices. Uh, what drives the energy when you're not playing a lot of games, but you end up doing a lot of practicing? It's just fun. It's fun to be around these guys. Um, it's fun to get into the dressing room. Guys are, we're all bullshitting and laughing together, and um, it's fun to get on the ice. And you know, it just, uh, it just rolls. It rolls. Everything just rolls together. You have fun in the dressing room. You have fun on the ice, and you just start working harder. It's fun. That lend itself to the teamwork you see on the PK, which was so important in the last series. Yeah, it's just you got a job to do on the PK, and obviously on the power play as well. So um, it's fun to, to do the job right and to get it, work hard and get it done. Greg, you guys have had three weeks here of very crisp and purposeful practices. Everybody seems to be just humming along in every single one of them. What, what do you think of today's practice and, and what the reason might be these guys just continue to zip along? Yeah, uh, energy is great today. I thought practice went really well. Obviously, our, our team is excited to be going on to the next round and facing a tough opponent like Rochester. So uh, got a couple days rest and now we're back at it and uh, everyone's excited. It's been a bit of a trend. I, I wonder if that contributes a little bit to not only the success you guys have in that first round, the, but uh, also a, a little bit of the mood around the team. Yeah, the, this first round that we've played was definitely a confidence builder for us and a little, a little bit of uh, recognizing our identity and how we need to play and the buy-in and uh, everyone's kind of talking about it, really excited about the plan that we have and, um, and try to execute it again. You take a look at how important the PK is in that uh, in that first round, and I just wonder if that is a product of, of just these, uh, just the group that there is. It always seems like the PK needs a little bit more cohesive teamwork about it. 
there's definitely a mindset of taking pride in defending, uh, which I think a lot of our players and our key players do have that. Uh, John Snowden's done a great job all year with organizing the group uh, on the penalty kill, and uh, I did feel as though, uh, as I'm sure everybody did, that that was a really com key component to us having success in that series with how many power plays we were able to kill off. Um, and yeah, just the sacrifice that guys make on the penalty kill by like blocking shots and how much energy they burn that is for the team and isn't necessarily for creating offense for themselves. I look at a guy like Kyle Clifford and I look at that, that empty net goal and, and I think that kind of has a little bit of a stamp of what this team is beginning to be even more so about is just that little extra grit and determination that it's necessary to put an opponent away. He's 100% led by example throughout that entire series. Uh, Cliffy has been amazing at uh, teaching, showing, uh, especially our younger guys, what it takes at this time of season. Um, we're very fortunate to have him on our team. Were you surprised at the reaction? It almost looked like it wasn't crazy, but it looked like it was purposeful, like they all know, even though they have not got a lot of you know, AHL playoff experience, that there's a big road ahead. Yeah, we have confidence in ourselves that we can make a big push here. And uh, and again, that, that round has helped us believe in ourselves and we're excited. You could tell today that the guys are excited in the belief in our team and uh, get on to the next round.